everyone this is sabrina welcome back to my channel i am switching it up and doing one more december daily video and then i will do another book journal video for wednesday and saturday is going to be the 2023 setup for my reading journal i am determined to get it to you guys then i'm so so excited right now i'm sharing sneak peeks on my instagram if you want to go check that out so for this december daily 19 i am going to document my son looking like santa with all his gifts on wednesday this is kind of a story that was taking place all throughout uh, the last week of school and i decided to put it in on 19. my son had a great outfit on so i told him he looked like soccer santa with all his different items and my glasses just fell off, so that's why they were on my paper trimmer. I need new glasses. They're not staying on my face. Um, so I grabbed all the Santa supplies that I had. I even die cut one of the Santas, and I'm going to do like a five and a half insert. It's going to go, um, that Santa insert is going to be on the back or the front the front of the holiday reads i'm gonna just stick the holiday reads in between uh 19 and 20. my son is picking out the santas that he likes and i'm going to die cut those out to kind of make a long column on the right hand side in that kind of empty space where the 19 is I also need to cut a one inch strip of this ho ho paper since I cut the Santa four and a half. So um, that way I'll have two pattern papers to be the same size as the holiday reads insert, which is fine. I liked using the two different patterns and that way it brings in a little bit more red. I had a here comes Santa card from several years ago and I'm going to use that along with a flip pocket to tell the story about my son and all his fun stuff he had going on because of student council. Right now I am just cutting out the Santas that he picked. They're super easy to cut out. I'll also cut out a hat and then a beard and just sprinkle those on down the side. I'll take a one inch punch and punch out some of the ho 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 uh, words so that way I can put a few down the side as well. I'm not making like a really full column of little cutouts and fussy cutting because I didn't want, I wanted there to still be space and like the white space kind of space to breathe so I'm just going to punch out a few and then add them to the top and one in the middle where the 19 is and also down towards the bottom and I don't know if you saw earlier but when I, I'm gonna well no I'm gonna do it in a second the 19 I haven't adhered it down yet but when I adhere down those 19 I'm almost out of those letters and I will be sad once I'm done with those letters, but they do require some polishing once you put them on. I swear they can get so dirty and just feel like they need a little shine to get all the smudges off. I'm going to do that in just a second with my sweater. My handy dandy sweater will work just fine to get those smudges off. See right there. And I'm also going to tuck in a one inch circle next to the one and pop dot a little Santa. Love those Santas. I actually did not think I was going to use this paper at all this season. I really, I really didn't. Um, we're kind of almost done with the Santa era, I think, kinda. Uh, but I am using it and I am loving this paper. This back of this paper, remember how I recycle papers? I was testing out the titles for my reading journal and I wanted to make sure that they were a good size before I printed them on my sticker paper. So I just used that test print for the back of the 19 photo. Now my son and husband went out to get all the goodies at the dollar store and I think that my husband had just as much fun, if not more fun, than my son shopping. My son, I mean my husband wanted to make sure that my son was getting all the best of the best and I think he did. So I took that Santa die cut and I went ahead and pop dotted it and I am going to make a journaling. I'm going to add my journaling lines in just a little bit. I wanted to add a little bit of green to this project because of the here, the words here comes and that green color I don't have a word phrase sticker so I went in my stories by the month stash and found one that's close enough so I'm going to go ahead and use that to just add a few words a little pop of green and then it also just helps your eye to move around the spread which I really liked okay so now the journaling now I can tell you the awesome story of my son just having the best time this week in student council and also just learning some valuable life lessons 
I'll get to that in a second. So he's part of student council. He's a treasurer, and they had basically three different activities. The first one was Secret Santa. He wound up with um, a boy, and the boy, they all fill out papers, like souvenirs, not souvenirs, surveys about what they would like. And this child said he'd like uh, Hershey's or anything green. And so, like I said, my husband and son went out and got all the goodies for the three days and tried to spend less than five my husband might have gone overboard, maybe a little bit. And we packed up the goodies for my son. Then my son also had a white elephant party and he brought like the most coveted item, which was two like extra 49er beanies that we had. But then my poor son, all he got was an oatmeal packet. Last year, all he got was uh, a bubblegum empty wrapper. So two years in a row, he got really cruddy gifts from this game and I was felt so bad for him but that's the life lesson that he learned he was telling me you know sometimes you give a lot in life and you don't get everything in return but that's okay because at least you're kind he said something like that to me and it was pretty awesome awesome of him but I still felt bad as mom like dang why did he get a crummy prize or not a prize gift for the second year in a row (laughs) and then the third thing they did was celebrate with like a little party and a movie and so my son brought some chips and that kind of thing because he loves to bring chips and so he had all these bags on Wednesday um when he was bringing in like the final gifts and uh the chips to share so I had a lot of fun writing about all his activities I added in the little word phrase sticker to the Santa that says celebrate and then now I'm going to adhere it to the holiday reads add that one inch strip first then I'll add in that Santa um, insert over the top which is really fun so I basically went with monochromatic red and then just a pop of green and I am going to add it into the album and I realized that I it's off a little bit towards the bottom. Like I would have to trim off some of the bottom. Basically, I punched the holes all wacky, uh, but that's okay. I'm not going to trim anything. I'm not going to mess with it. It's going to be fine. So I adhered it to the back of 18, which was a mason jar with a bunch of Velcro questions. And some of these process videos, I don't think I'm going to get to share with you. I'll share them next November or maybe Christmas in July, but didn't get to 18 this year. I will let you guys know which ones I am going to skip sharing soon. Okay, so I am going to share 20. 20 is all about my target birds. I'm obsessed with target birds. In case you haven't heard, I am the queen of target birds. I absolutely love them. I've collected them for several years now, and apparently it has either become the most popular trend or target is not stocking as many because I went to uh, three or four targets and there was only one and uh, so I wound up only getting two this year Bo and Fika and then I saw like other people got some and I had some awesome friends tag me and say look at these ones I got and I was like how'd you get those and they said they ordered them online I tried to order them online on Target, couldn't get them, so I wound up getting them on eBay. My husband got them for me as kind of an early gift, so that was very cool. For this page, I decided to kind of scrap lift Inga. She did a similar page about her birds and used this bird die cut. And she also does really cool things with 4x4 photos. So it's like a combination of like two of her different pages. Uh, So I really, really loved that. Uh, Her pages are just fantastic. I'll leave a link to her Instagram. I die cut several of these craft digital pieces. I believe that's what they are like physically. They're a craft die cut pack. And I took this gift, deck the halls, the stars, and the bird, and I all I die cut all those and also added a white stroke around them in Photoshop Element to give a little bit more emphasis. Now, I don't know why I was having an issue with 20, the number that I was going to use. I thought about using the one that came in the kit, didn't like it, it's too big. I wanted the bird to be the emphasis. So then I decided that I would just use these clear uh, acetate numbers that I had. They kind of get lost in the star, but you know what? I'm just going to go with them and whatever. (laughs) I 
want to move on and I want to keep going. So I'm just going to keep going. I suppose I could have used my puffy kind of gold numbers. I don't know why I didn't. I probably should have, but <laughs> I don't know why. I just decided to use these acetate numbers. So whatever. I put some uh, red glittery hearts next to each of the numbers to kind of give it a little more emphasis, but you know, it's still kind of a mystery. I don't know. It's hiding in the forest with the bird. That's, that's what we're going to say. That's what I'm going to go with, and that's my story. And I did earlier, I added um, the pocket for my the extra close-ups of my birds, but I did not want to write on the back of this woodland card. I just wanted to use a piece of paper. So I am just writing out the story about how I'm the queen of the target birds. I absolutely love them, and there's always so many to choose from. I get them every holiday. I get them for um, Valentine's Day, Halloween, and fall, and I just love them. So I'm trying to write out the bird's name, and it's a Norwegian bird, that, and the word is cozy, and I'm totally not going to say it right, but I think it's Kusali, and that was the name of the Santa bird. And I loved the name and wanted to write it down, and I also got Bells the Reindeer. So like I said, my husband got them for me on eBay as like an early gift, and I was beyond excited to open these and add them to my collection. I also wrote about how I've had so many messages, dozens of messages from scrapbook and crafty friends sharing with me their birds, how they got the birds because of me and their collection of birds and telling me like, you know, the different birds that they have or want to have. And it's just been really cool to have people connect with me in that way and really special. So I'm going to add a little tab to this. I had to trim the tab down since I decided at the last minute to add the tab and didn't want to hide any of the words. So it's just a really small tab that kind of works out. And I just add it on there, tuck it back in, and now I can put it into my album. And it will go on the back of the bookshelf page. And I accidentally left that star in the top left corner crooked, but that's okay, I'll fix it later. So now I am up to day 20, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Have a great day, bye.